Disney, nowadays at least, is a behemoth of a company with no shortage of box office hits. So it should come as no surprise if you would ask a group of strangers what Disney is, that they would probably say something like this. There's something written here, but it's, it's hard to make out. Or this. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. Or even this. But the reality is this. Now this is Ron Clemens and John Musker, Disney's most successful writing and directing duo. Clemens met Musker while working as a supervising animator for The Fox and the Hound in 1981, where Musker was a character animator. After The Fox and the Hound was finished, both decided to team up as story artists for a new film, The Black Cauldron. Legend has it, there was once a king so cruel and so evil that the gods feared him. Now, personally, I loved The Black Cauldron as a kid, but it, well, it did less than favorably at the box office. Adjusting for inflation, the film only received $21.2 million, and it ended up costing $25 million to make. That might not seem like a big deal now, but it did so poorly at the time of its release that it's known today as the film that almost killed Disney. Not a year later, they got together to write and direct The Great Mouse Detective, which wasn't a huge box office success, but it at least earned more than it cost the company to make. While working on The Great Mouse Detective, the newly appointed Disney CEO, Michael Eisner, demanded five new story ideas from the Disney animation staff. Clemens pitched a new version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid and a new retelling of the classic book Treasure Island, but set in space. Eisner rejected the Treasure Island idea, but greenlit The Little Mermaid. And soon after The Great Mouse Detective wrapped up production, Clemens and Musker got to work on their next film. Which, well, I guess you could say it was a success. It ended up grossing $211.3 million at the box office when adjusted for inflation, and it only ended up costing Disney $40 million to make. The Little Mermaid ended up spearheading Disney's animation success in the mid-90s, which is now known as the Disney Renaissance. Throughout the 90s, while almost every other area of Disney's company was struggling, Clemens and Musker kept making hit after hit for Disney, all with the hope of making one film. Treasure Planet. Now I have a lot of feelings about this film, but I'll try to keep it short and to the point. Treasure Planet had been John Musker and Ron Clement's passion project ever since they first suggested it to Eisner while working on The Great Mouse Detective. In order to portray the true beauty of the world they had created, Musker and Clemens chose to use an animation style called Deep Canvas. Now this style was created by Disney engineers and famously used in the final sequence of Tarzan. And the actual process of Deep Canvas allows for 3D artists to create a basic environment while 2D animators hand draw the environment's details and the characters themselves. Tarzan only ended up using this technology for two scenes. In Treasure Planet, on the other hand, deep canvas is used in nearly every scene. And because of this, the film ended up costing Disney a whopping $140 million to make. And unfortunately, the film only ended up earning $109.5 million at the box office. This meant that their passion project became their second film together to earn less at the box office than it took the company to actually produce. Now, although Musker and Clemens were passionate about every film they worked on, Treasure Planet was a film that they had fought with the studio over for years. So it was no surprise that finding out Disney considered a failure crushed them. But they continued to this day to work together as co-writers and directors for Disney. Between the time of Treasure Planet's release in 2002 and today, Musker and Clemens have worked together on The Princess and the Frog and Moana, both of which became box office hits, earning $267 million and $643 million respectively. Throughout their careers with Disney, John Musker and Ron Clemens have earned the company over $2 billion, all while creating films that are cherished by viewers of all ages, no matter what Disney executive said. In the end, whatever Disney film people pay to see more or love the most doesn't matter. What matters is that John Musker and Ron Clement and anyone behind the scenes of Disney are what really make viewers fall in love with the films. If it wasn't for their timeless passion and drive to create, there would be no Disney. Link to all resources for this video will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to learn more about Treasure Planet and the creation of it, uh, I will also link to a more in-depth video in the description. Thank you.
old and 